Hey guys, it's Brian from TFF. Today's video will be on uh, putting the bokeh bearings into the Shimano Citica 200G6. Now, if you have a reel that doesn't perform well and you want it to perform better, I'd really suggest upgrading to bokeh bearings. Now, the Orange Seal high performance ceramic bearings are top of the line bearings for baitcaster reels, whatever you do. Um, the bearings that come stocked in the Shimano Citica. 200G6 are not that well, so that's why I'm going to be changing up to the Boca bearings today. Okay guys, now I'm going to start installing the bearings in the Shimano Citica. Um, first thing you're going to have to do is take out the old bearings. What you have to do to do that is open up the side panel with the little key lock thing there. Just pop out the spool. I tape up the spool so the line doesn't come off of it when I take it out. Just set the spool off to the side, get that out of the way and you'll find your first bearing on the side of the side panel right there so what you need is a flat head screwdriver anything that can get back behind the uh, little metal piece back there and just hold your thumb over the c-clip because it'll spring out uh, hold one side down get the flat head screwdriver whatever back behind there pop one side out then one that when that side comes out, just maneuver back to this other side here and uh, actually pop out the other side. Okay, now we got the C-clip out. Just be careful uh, that this doesn't go flying anywhere. This is a very important piece. Again, it does hold your bearing into the side there. So if you don't have that little metal piece right there, um, your bearing will fall out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the flat head screwdriver or you could use a q-tip, just cut the other end off a q-tip and pry that bearing out of there. With this uh, reel though, I use the flat head screwdriver to get back in there because it's a little bit harder to get out with the q-tip. Alright. Now just kind of angle that screwdriver at an angle so you could uh, pull the bearing out. Alright, now the bearing came out. This one was a little hard to come out because it fits that circle so well in there. Um, here's the original bearing right here. Again, these are not that well performing bearings. So, I'll just set that off to the side. I'll keep my old bearings just in case something happens. So now we're going to take out the bokeh bearings here. Come in a nice Ziploc baggie. Alright, they give you two in a pack for the spool pack. If your reel is uh, still in good condition, almost brand new, and you don't like the performance of the stocked bearings in a reel, what you're going to have to do is upgrade the spool bearings which mainly controls how smooth your reel casts and retrieves. So here's the two orange seal ceramic bearings right here. I'm going to take out one of them and put them in the side panel. Alright. So that's the orange seal bearing right there. Very nice. Alright, now what you're going to have to do is the open hole right there where you just took out the other bearing, just put that back in there, get a Q-tip, and just kind of push that bearing into the slot there. Make sure it's in there. Alright, so that looks like it's in there pretty well right now. And we'll grab our C-clip that I set off to the side over here. To do this, uh, you'll notice if I could get this to focus that there's a gap in between the C-clip right there what you're going to have to do is angle that into the reel and uh, put one side of the gap into the uh, little circle there and it catches into that ridge then you can pop in the other side you can just do this with your fingernails or if you can't get your fingernails back in there it'll just usually pop back in smooth getting it out is the harder part so right there so orange seal bearing that I just put in there it's looking really nice right now 
close that. Now what I have to do is unscrew the line tension knob here. Now in the Citica 200G6 you'll find out that the star drag kind of covers up the line tension knob so this might take a while to get the line tension knob off. All right, just kind of loosen the drag there and then it'll come right off. So this is the line tension knob that you take off to get back inside of the other bearing right here. Back behind there, there is a bearing and what you'll find is there's a spring right there. What you have to do is just kind of get back there with your fingers and kind of bend the spring off to the side and it'll come out and pull back. Alright, I'll just pull that spring out of there. Right there's a spring. Most other reels have a C-clip there. This one has a spring so it can tighten and come off very easily. So that's the spring right there. You know, set that off to the side and right back there is the other bearing that we're changing out with the Boca bearings. Right back there, that's the other bearing. With this one, what you could do is actually open up the side panel and you'll see far back to the back of the reel there's another opening right back there and you could get your swab that's the ends cut off of and actually poke the bearing poke through that hole and catch on the other bearing and poke it out the other side Just stick it in there and poke that other bearing out right there see how I just pushed all the way through with the swab from that side out the other alright now just pull your swab out now we're just gonna get the orange seal bearing put it in there and just make sure it's stuck in there all the way now we pick up our spring again that we pulled out this side and what you have to do is just kinda put that in at an angle so the point of the gap where the opening is goes in first alright and just push that back in there now the spring will lock in with that other side so we got both bearings in the reel now we just need to put the line tension knob back on alright so just screw your line tension knob back in put the spool back in and we'll see how these bearings run alright everything's back seems like these never end Wow. I could already see that these are running a lot longer than the stocked bearings that came with the reel before it would never run this well um, I actually timed the, how long these bearings went free spool like I just did with the bokeh bearings there and these ones only went 9 seconds and I'm estimating that was about 30 seconds right there or more um, again guys really need to upgrade these uh, to the bokeh bearings from your stocked bearings it makes a huge difference in your fishing and I'm just really excited to change out my bearings that's basically the how you install the bokeh bearings into the Shimano Sitka 200G6 they're fishing bearings, they're ceramic, are just a lot better. So, thanks for watching, and see you guys later.